Okay, guys. This is a, a short video to help you to be able to log into your account. Uh, I have seen that a lot of you have issues. Now, you just go to your browser and type www.netacard dot com press enter now you move here you go to login now if you forgotten your password this is where you come you do forget you come and click on forgot password then you put your email address here now when you put your email address here and then you click on continue it will send uh, some digits into your email which you use to recover your password so those of you who have password issues that is what you have to do that is not what we are doing we are going back we want to enter the email so we go back So www.netacard.com now you come here you click on login now I'm going to use a student account your class reps account so you type in your email address sorry your email address You click on next you type in your password then you click on sign in now this brings you to your dashboard now this is the previous ccna class that has ended that is the ccna one we are not using this is the new class so you see it this way where you have what you have to do is to come and click on launch course now this opens for you now when you have to launch course if it's the notes you want to read right you click on launch course you click on any one of these and then it takes you to the chapters to the chapter notes so let's say you have a, a, a chapter to read you can come to course index and then you see all the chapters so let's say what you i i thought about electrostatic discharge and you didn't understand when you click click on it it will send you directly to the notes so this is the notes electrostatic discharge can okay when there's a build up with electrical charge and you read so this one will help you to go through the chapters read the exact notes now you go and click on return to class now when you come back here you want to take an exam with the quizzes here are not the exams the quizzes are just there to give you a hands-on practice so when you answer the questions automatically it gives you the uh, what you have done so it helps you to pra practice some of the questions but the actual exam is done uh, at the assignment end so you click on assignment if it's chapter one you want to do you search through the list and then go and click on chapter one exam 
as soon as you click on chapter one exam this is what you will see so if you want to begin the exam you go to take assessment when you click on continue the exam begins for you and it times you one hour i want you i want to emphasize that anytime you take an exam you are supposed to make 80 and above anything below that is a fail and that will need you to retake the exam again but we don't want to encourage retakes so you make sure that you get them once and for all and uh, so this is it good and then so anytime you want to take an exam let's say you want to come back to take chapter 2 exam come to assignment again then you go to chapter 2 and then you go to take assessment if your exam is not activated you will not see this you will see that exam not activated but i have activated from chapter 1 to chapter 6 so anytime you come to assignment you choose the exam you are going to do it is not automatic that the exams will appear as soon as you click on the assignment but you will have to go and know which exams you've done if you've done chapter one and two you know that you are going to chapter three so as soon as you come you look in the list and find chapter three exam like this you click on it you click on it when it opens for you you go and do take assessment as soon as you click on continue the exam begins for you so i think this is something small that will aid you to be able to go through so if you you click and it is not coming you click on assignment and it is not coming please check your network your network could be the problem thank you and I'll be here to be sending you videos that will help you in your in your area. Thank you and God bless you. Now, another thing is that anytime you write your exam, you finish writing your exam, it will give you the grade. If you don't see your grades, go to grades. If you come to grades, it will show you it will show you your grade so if you if you have written chapter one exam the, the grade will come here and it will show if you have written chapter two exam the grade will come here and it will show if you have written chapter three exam the grade will come here and it will show if you are, you write the exam you have to click on submit if you are not able to do that and maybe your network goes off or your power goes off the mark will not come here it will tell you to your instructor your instructor must re-enable when it happens that way you have to inform me so that i will go and re-enable for you to be able to continue thank you so much and thank you for listening